What is up, you guys? Look at this. Now, I don't normally do bags that are this kind of style, but this I had to make an exception for. This is the Patagonia Nine Trails. It's a 36 liter bag. <laughs> yeah, right, they call it a 36 liter bag. It can expand so much. You can fit so much gear in this. And the reason why I couldn't pass up on this bag was this right here. This harness situation, the, the, the hip straps, the way that the back is set up, all the ventilation and the support there, and then these freaking shoulder straps, for sure the most comfortable bag I've carried to date. Now, like I said, this is like a standard like hiking style, like actual backpacking, like getting out into nature style of bag. Normally I go for more professional travel bags because with a bag that has a harness system like this, it's all on the outside. Uh, for instance, you can't take the hip straps off or anything like that. It can make it really painful to get it into the overhead compartment or to just deal with travel with it. And yet it's bags like this that are by far the most comfortable to walk around and carry when you're, you know, actually going through China and you need to do a lot of walking or, you know, Southeast Asia or something like that. Anytime you need to be doing a lot of walking or something because they just carry so comfortably and this is no exception. So here's my first point on this bag. First point is actually the light weight materials. It is made from extremely lightweight materials such that when this thing is empty, which I'll show you in a little bit, it is so light. There's almost nothing there. There's almost no there there, but the material is durable. It's got all of this rip stop stuff all over the place and this the whole front of the of the outside of the bag has this dura stretch something material making a, a pocket here and two water bottles you've also got pockets on the hip straps and and a pocket up here i'm going to tell you about the pockets but my first point is just that this is is extremely lightweight materials you're going to feel it the moment you pick it up and packing it full of stuff putting it on your back it's just like it is for like the lightest bag I've ever used. The lightest bag for carrying this much stuff, which is to say it's this that makes loading up the bag and carrying it through wherever you need to carry it so comfortable. The hip straps, as well as these shoulder straps, the, uh, the sort of contour of the back, the rigid back thing that gets all of the weight down to your hips so your lower back doesn't have to keep all the stabilization going for you. Okay, so all of this is like, super comfortable. The padding, I don't know what padding they're using inside of their shoulder straps, but it is like, <laughs> it's lovely. It's really great. The material that it's covered with is awesome. I just used this for a little weekend adventure when we had to go on a long ass hike to get to this secret little river spot. So I loaded it up with all my family's like river gear, like the towels and the, the cooler that we were using and all sorts of stuff. And we had to walk for quite a while to get there. And this thing was so packed out and so comfortable. Now I am about 5'10", 5'9", 5'10", about 180, 190 pounds, okay? So you can see how it loads everything down on my hips. A lot of you, any of you who are like pro hiking people, are like why is this guy talking about this? We've been talking about how like like the, the weight on your hips has mattered for, for a million years. We've always been worrying about the carry sort of harness system. Well, for me, and in the travel bags I'm used to, we normally just put up with whatever we get, right? Because we care about looks and aesthetic. We care about functionality and organization. This, on the other hand, cares, seems like principally about lightweight, weight and lots of capacity and you can carry it comfortably. But that doesn't mean that there isn't a lot of interesting pockets out here, right? So like this whole thing is one big Dura stretch thing. I've got like just a book in here on my Kundalini Tantra. Get into it. Want to check it out? Let's get together. Huge pocket that you can just literally shove so much stuff. I had like three or four books in here and a Frisbee when we were going to the river. Same thing on either side here. You've got these massive water bottle pockets. I've put mine right over here and you've got a compression strap right there, which can get in the way, but you learn which one you're gonna use. I keep this one loose and this one relatively tight. I don't typically compress this guy. You've got another compression strap up here at the top on both sides, which is nice in case you wanted to string a jacket or sweater through there or a towel or something like that, it's killer. Then, like I said, you've got two pockets here, one on each 
of the hip straps, which is perfect for, I'd fill this one with Skittles, all Skittles. It's important, no red Skittles. That's just something that's important to me. And then over here, I think I'm gonna go either Milk Duds or Reese's Pieces, we'll see. But I can go either way on this. This is either Milk, milk Duds or Reese's Pieces, okay? So I know a lot of you are gonna wanna know specifically which way I go on that. Honestly, I kind of like, I allow myself a little bit of, I go with the flow. But perfect size pockets for keys or milk dugs or Reese's Pieces, you know, Bluetooth headphones or even Jujubees, I don't know. Okay, then this whole top of the bag section right here, this is also a pocket. This is your flap, it clips down over here. These size pockets I started falling in love with on the Tom Bin Guide Pack. A lot of bags that are shaped like this will have a pocket up here that is like, it's much bigger than, your, than you would imagine. It's much more functional than you normally would think. So for instance, I could just use this to throw my glasses and like an RX bar or something like that. Or I could actually get my whole Bose in-ear or my, not my in-ear, but my over-ear Quiet Comfort QC 35 twos. By the way, I'm doing a huge review on which one are the best over ear, like the bet, you know, like the four massive, actually five massive ones that you hear about all the time. I'm reviewing all of those right now. Honestly, the bows are not at the bottom of my list, but you can see how, how big this is and it fits in there perfectly. This size pocket, like I am in love with this size of, of a pocket. Tom Bin Guide Pack, like I said, has that. The Tom Bin Synapse 25, the bottom front pack, it's ab uh, about that size. Such a good size. I just call it a medium sized pocket because it is not small. Okay, now getting into the main compartment on this bag, it's this entire thing. So it is tons of capacity and there is so much more you could fit than what I'm fitting in it right now. You've got these two clips right here at the top. Those hide inside of your mesh strap thing um, if you don't have it pulled out super far. So there's a tiny little bit of security for you there. And just so when you're looking for them, that's where they are. Then over here, we've got a double anus situation. We've got a dual, sp <laughs> dual sphincter situation. There's one on the outside if you're, if you're not packing it in that much, if you're not packing up your sphincter too tight, you might need to use the second one. Or there's one right up at the lip. Okay, so look, <laughs> can, I even, can I even fit this all on camera? Like look at how wide and tall that is. You can actually zip this thing like this and get this much more stuff in it. You'd have a problem carrying it on. Uh, a lot of airlines would maybe would stop you. A lot of airlines wouldn't stop you. Jeez Louise, have you seen some of the things these people are walking on the aircraft with? Just like walking in late, Barbara's like, oh, uh, it's all of the, it's all of the, I don't think there's a spot for it. Larry, Larry, I don't know where I'm gonna put my bag. I don't know, Barbara, you gotta put it out. Is there no more spot? Oh, Barbara's bag, sure, her bag, we don't have, what do we do? Even if there was a spot, Barbara, you're really, going above and beyond in bringing that stuff to see. I was gonna, I don't know, I was gonna try to make a joke about where Barbara was going, but honestly, Barbara's going to someplace important. The point being, it sucks when you travel with a bag that's too big. It sucks. What's great about this bag is you can get it really big if you need it, or just bring what you need. That's what I've done here. The bag has a zipper that goes down one side of the bag, okay? So you can actually zip it from either side. You see this little zipper here? You can go in from here, which is a nice little shortcut, or you can just unzip this all the way around this compression strap, which comes undone, and now you have access to the bag. Okay, let me show you what I've packed in here. I've got a, a little minimal toiletry kit, one of the biggest trips, uh, tricks, one of the biggest tips for tricks, if you're doing trips, is to bring a, I cannot believe I got through that, is to bring, is to go more minimal with your, uh, with your toiletry. Just go minimal. If you need something, buy it there. Go minimal, it makes your life easier. But have what you need, like Band-Aids. Like Band-Aids, like just throw some Band-Aids in there just in case you need it. That doesn't take up very much space. You can still be minimal. Then I've got like sort of a tech pouch. This one's from Boundary Supply. I'll put a link to this in the description below. Um, in here, I've got my MacBook charger, a notebook, a handful of dongles and stuff like that. Then look at this. Okay, little trick for you. When you get to your destination, you don't want, you're obviously not gonna use this as your daily carry bag. You need to have something that you can pop out 
and use as a little daily carry bag. Now this one's from Tortuga. I think it's called their set out travel or day pack or something like that. It's totally packable, totally thin and minimal. Slightly a little tiny bit water resistant. The zippers are not water resistant, but you've got two great water bottle pockets on the outside, a pocket here, pocket on the inside, comfortable mesh strapping that is gonna be nice and breathable when you're uh, going through uh, Beijing. Check that sucker out. I'll put a link to that in the description below. Love having a, di a packable bag like that, that co comes into nothing and just crunches away. Okay, I've got a sweater just sort of thrown in there. I like to travel with like a cardigan, something that's like kind of nice, but really just throw in, throw in there. A puffy jacket, it's again, kind of nice. Not a, not a hooded one. I like to do, this one's from, I'll put a link to this one below if I can find it, if it's still available. It's from Black Diamond. What I like about it is it's got collars. It's got a collar like this. It's not the hoodie thing. So you can, you know, you can get away with this at a dinner in San Francisco or something like that. I basically travel everywhere with those two items. I've got an extra pair of shoes because it's so easy to fit them in here. Um, I'm going to review these shoes as well as some other interesting barefoot shoes in a little bit. So stay tuned for a review of that. Then I've got two packing cubes. This is one large one from Tom Bin and then a medium sized one from Lewis and Clark. Listen, with packing cubes, it doesn't matter that much. Just get some good stuff. Just get decent stuff at the right size. I recommend just buying a bunch of things, send back whatever you don't want or need. Um, in there, I've got all, this is all my clothes. All my clothes, all my underwear and shoes, or sorry, underwear and uh, pants, shirts. I've got like three or four, maybe five shirts and like another pair of pants. And I go minimal on the pants because pants take up a lot of space. I also basically don't wear socks at all. That's helpful, but I will typically bring a pair of wool socks just in case. Now on the back of this bag, you do have a little pouch, a little thin pouch right here that you can fit a laptop in. My 15 inch laptop just, could you see that? Did you see me? That, yeah, you could see that. Just barely fits in there with this protective case from Why Not. I like this guy, I throw it right in there and it fits fine. So this actually means, all of this means this is like a work trip for me. I can do my work, I can have my laptop on the road with this setup. And when it's all packed out, or if I find something that I wanna buy on the, uh, uh, like out on in the journey, I can fit it inside there easily and still carry it all back comfortably. That's ridiculous. And then when it's all empty, it is just, uh, there's just nothing. There's like one back rigid plate, that's it. Everything else feels, so, it feels so light, so airy and thin, even the foam and all of this stuff. I can't even believe it. I'm gonna be loving this bag for a long time. A long, this thing is so much fun. Highly recommend it. It's not even that expensive. Very light, fits a bunch of stuff, okay? Now for maximal travel, let me get rid of some of this stuff. For maximal travel, I recommend a handful of bags. You should check out bagworks.co slash now. Bagworks.co slash now for my up-to-date, what, what I'm actually recommending, right now, but one of the big maximal carry-on bags that I'm rec recommending right now is the Tortuga Set Out. Okay, what's great about this thing is you've got a nice material, a killer harness system, very extremely comfortable. You get to get locked in on this, and that's good because you've got a massive amount of capacity in this thing. It's just one huge bucket to throw everything, and this is how I like to travel. Not, although, not without its tech organization and a laptop compartment. So, out completely outperforms that Patagonia Nine Trails in terms of having tech organization and stuff like that. Check out the Tortuga set out. Another absolute favorite for me is the Heim Planet 40 liter monolith bag. Just a massive, very, I like, so basically it's very similar to the set out that we just saw. It's just a big, huge thing. It's better material to me, more robust material, a little more padding. I love these straps. I actually like them a little bit. I don't know what it is about these. I put these on, I pack this thing full of gear and it's still really comfortable. But some of the things in travel are not quite as good. There's not a water bottle holder here. You can sometimes fit a water bottle if it's small enough up in here. There's not a lot of tech organization, but I tend not to miss that because I pack one of my tiny little bags inside of here with my gear in there. So that's the Heim Planet Monolith 40 liter, check that out. And finally, the air travel bag, another great option 
tons of space in here, lots of organization for pockets and text and stuff like that. Lots of outside uh, organization, which is really useful sometimes in travel. Uh, so check out the Air Travel Pack. <laughs> Ah, this Patagonia Nine Trails is freaking awesome. Okay, guys, if you're interested in it, I, I highly recommend it. If you're like, if you, because you know what it looks like, you know what now what the bag's like. It is so good at that kind of bag. I have been Chase Wardman Reeves. Like I said, you can go to bagworks.co/slash/now to find out about all my current recommendations on bags. I've got them on one page, and then you can explore the site, find out all sorts of daily carry or travel bags or packable bags or accessories. Eventually we're gonna be building it out to even more. Talk to you guys later. Thanks so much. Your dollar is your vote. Buy good things from good companies. Why am I doing this? Patagonia is an awesome company to support. In fact, I had an amazing time on the phone with them trying to get some bags sent. And the guy, like the receptionist was, uh, I think his name was like Tripper Bro. <laughs> like, like no, Chipper, Chipper Bro was his name. And he was like, okay, so, uh, so are you like blowing up dams? Are you bringing wildlife back to life? Like, what is your deal? Why would we want to partner with you? And so I told him my story about like, I want people to buy shit that's good. I want them to buy less stuff, but way better. I want them to feel better about the things they have so they don't spend all the bullshit on baubles. You know what I mean? Like. We don't need very many things to feel really, really rich. And there's some good bags out there that can make you feel rich by the way they feel, the way they work, all of that kind of stuff. So I'm passionate about this. Subscribe if you're into that kind of thing. Bagworks.com slash now. Love you. Goodbye. Bagworks.co JaceReeves.net Those are the websites. I guess those are the websites. Yeah, yeah I guess must have... Hmm. Let's go check out what he's up to or something like that. Yeah, it looks nice.